What's up everyone, this is Aaron. I'm gonna jump into the video. So much is going on with Bitcoin with the halving happening in two days or so. So, wow, we had a 15% correction uh, that just happened today. Coinbase went down, they're blaming it on the whales. Whales are people who have a lot of Bitcoin that are selling, they're moving crypto. I'm gonna jump into the story right now. So, heading to the first story I wanna talk about, flash crash. Whales sink price of Bitcoin. Coinbase suffered a brief outage when crypto prices plummeted. The pre-having silly season is upon us. So I remember when uh, Coinbase got Bitcoin Cash. This could have been maybe two and a half years ago or so, two years ago. Coinbase was completely crashed when they brought on this uh, Bitcoin Cash onto their uh, platform. And um, I remember, <laughs> You know, Bitcoin Cash was like $2,000 and it was like you couldn't buy anything and it was $400. And um, at the end of this video, though, stay tuned. At the end, I am going to talk about what I'm going to do and what I suggest you do to take advantage of these crazy spikes that are going to be happening over the next, honestly, even after the halving. It may happen up to the next uh, few weeks, so one to two weeks. And I, I'm going to tell that at the very end of the video, so stay tuned. It's very important. So in brief... The price of Bitcoin fell 15% in minutes starting at 5 p.m. Pacific. Whales were blamed as usual. Expect more of the same as we head to the halving next week. Here we go again. Bitcoin and just about everything else crashed 15% during a seven minute period when whale or whales unloaded their Bitcoin. At 526 Pacific time, Coinbase went down, but all services were restored at 614. The top 10 coins by market cap, as usual, saw similar declines. Ethereum plummeting from 210 to 191. Apparently, whales started liquidating their Bitcoin positions in $2 million, $2 million chunks just as the clock struck 5 p.m. in California. It's very funny how this stuff works. Bitcoin dropped from 9,561 to 8,570 in just under 30 minutes. The crash was met with predictable reactions all the way around. A New York University's economics professor said, quote, massive pump and dump, spoofing, front running, watch trading, total scam. <laughs> BlockFi CEO said that, quote, uh, he missed the pure bottom here, but still glad to pick up more under 9K. And Ray Newer, CNBC crypto trader, tweeted, is it the end of crypto again? Probably being sarcastic because people always say that. Um, expect more thrills and chills as the halving continues. So right, as we get closer to the halving. So similar story here. Let me just go to this one. This other, they're covering it 15.3%, two days before the halving, dropped to $8,100. Uh, but here, I, what I want to get to is what to do. Um, so a lot of you are like, man, I really wish I would have bought some at $8,100 or whatever. And there's a way to do that uh, with limit orders. And I'm going to talk about that and how to do that in a bit. Um, altcoins were dealt a heavy blow. All right. So the last story, crypto whales are buying Bitcoin, ironically, as signal that sparked 2,700% Bitcoin bull run returns. So there's just gonna be a lot of buying and selling here. Um, Glassnode, the number of investors holding at least a thousand Bitcoins or more is rising at a rapid pace. So the number of investors holding at least a, a thousand Bitcoins, so you, you gotta realize a thousand Bitcoins is uh, a lot of money. Um, so this is about the, uh, the whales, the people that have you know, five million, eight million dollars plus of crypto and Bitcoin. So prominent crypto analyst Willy Wu says it's a sign that experienced traders are bullish despite weak global macro economy. Quote, whale population spotted increasing in the wild. They've been in solid accumulation mode since January, unperturbed by the crash. This is macro bullish and huge, right? Meanwhile, a prediction from popular analyst says is, wait, is going viral. The analyst tells 62,000 followers that a signal that flashed in late 2016 of Bitcoin's historic 2,700% rally from 700 to $20,000 is back. So the Bitcoin chart looks like it's going to explode straight to $20,000, honestly. So it's very exciting. 
Um, very, very exciting what's going on. So let's go ahead and check out the heat map. It is red as a red like blood uh, right now, but that is okay. That is fine. It just creates more buying opportunities. And a commodity currency, uh, well, commodity for Bitcoin that continues to retest certain numbers, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. That makes it more solid. If it keeps going above 8,500, then below, then above, then below, then above, then below, it keeps crossing that. These numbers, these amounts become more and more solid. There's, there's more support, right? So it's nothing to be worried about. If anything, it's like, great. Okay. Bitcoin has been at 20. It was just over 10. Now it's back at eight. It's like, it's going to go back up to 10. It's like, you don't have to worry. At least I'm not concerned at all about what's going on with crypto. I mean, I'm very excited. Coin market cap, let me refresh this because we know how quickly things change. So yes, things are down right now over the last 24 hours, over 10%, uh, 10, 11%. The winners for the last 24 hours, ABBC coin up 8.9, Ox up eight. So we got, still got some above the ones that took the biggest hit, RCN down 18, but everything is in the teens for the most part. View all, let's go ahead and check out for more than just the top 100. So ABBC and AUX still up the most over the last 24 hours. Losers are Constellation RCM. So, you know, what I wanna talk about now is, um, I may make a, bit, a video about this tomorrow. I don't wanna make this video right now, but you gotta learn how to do limit orders. So here's what I would suggest. If you have some money sitting on the sidelines, there may be some flash crashes like that. We don't know how much. Um, crypto could crash, you know, it can, it can hit six, it can hit four, it can hit $2,000. We have no idea what's gonna happen over the next few days. So what I am planning on doing, and not a financial advisor, not giving financial advice, obviously, but what you can do within any, any exchange, um, Binance, Kraken, uh, Gemini, Coinbase Pro, not normal Coinbase, uh, whatever, um, KuCoin, um, what are the other ones? Uh, there's so many. Bibox, uh, HitBTC, anyway. You're putting in limit orders. So let's say that you have, for a round number, $1,000 on the sideline, that you're like, all right, I want to buy crypto if it drops with this uh, $1,000. So right now the price of Bitcoin and is around, you know, around 80, 8600 dollars or so. So let's say that you put thousand dollars in USDT or whatever the stablecoin is for that exchange. Then every, just top of my head, every five hundred dollars down, so you put an order at eighty one hundred dollars, then seventy six hundred dollars, then seventy one hundred dollars, and you are you know, for each, for each $500 decrease in Bitcoin or whatever crypto you want to buy, you are saying, I want to buy, I don't know, a hundred dollars worth, a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. So hundred dollars, that'll give you 10 different, uh, buy, entry points to buy. So hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin at $8,100, $100 worth of Bitcoin at 76, hundred dollars at 71, hundred dollars at $6,600, right? And you keep going down. So what happens is there is a flash crash and we see these huge spikes where you may not get a notification on your phone to buy, you can have exchanges buy it for you. And that's the point of um, doing limit buys and limit sells. They sell on your behalf when that is the current price in that exchange. So I do suggest to use exchanges with high volume, uh, not going to some tiny little exchange. So heading back here, if you go to Bitcoin and you look at, let's see if it's still here. Um, sometimes you can look at the exchanges to see which ones have the most volume. I haven't done this in a while. Let's see, market pairs. Oh man, um, I should not have been making this video. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, crypto exchanges with largest volume. Let's see. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see, but clearly I couldn't see it before. All right, so 
Uh, some that I have never even heard of because they're probably not in the United States. So, adjusted 24 hour volume. Let's do seven day volume. All right, so Binance is the top in the last seven days. It has the biggest amount of volume. Cool. Uh, BKEX is the second. OKEX, which I've heard of, is the third. And a lot of these I have never even heard of. Tokok, talk, 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 uh, Fat BTC, so much out there. So going down here, um, let's see. It actually... Bibox is actually has more volume than Coinbase or Coinbase Pro, but you do have to look at what crypto that you want to buy. So Coinbase Pro, man, it's, it's so that's uh, three billion dollars of volume in Coinbase Pro. Binance has forty nine billion dollars of volume, so it really shouldn't make a difference. All I'm saying is don't do. I, w I wouldn't do limit orders, um, especially if you're trading a smaller crypto on an exchange that is smaller, because it's just gonna be harder to find buyers and sellers, especially if there's a crash price. Because um, remember, if you're gonna buy something, someone else needs to be selling it at that price. So you wanna use bigger exchanges. Alrighty guys, that is the video I wanna do. Very exciting the next few days. Um, keep your eyes peeled but if you just want to like hedge against some craziness you could also do limit sells so uh if let's say you have a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin and i mean we're gonna see big spikes is my is my opinion let's say you have round numbers you have five thousand dollars worth of bitcoin and you want to allocate one thousand dollars of that if bitcoin hits I don't know, $12,000 or $13,000. And you can do the same thing where you're selling at intervals. So you're selling at, you know, I don't know, $100 of Bitcoin each, you know, maybe $800 or $1,000 spike. So if you see a giant, if Bitcoin spikes to 15 grand, maybe you'd want to sell some. Again, I don't know, because maybe it'll hold at that price. And it'll never dip down. We, we don't know. But I think that if there's going to be a big spike, it's going to then come down. Whether it's a big, whether it crashes and comes back, goes high, comes down, it's going to level off. We're going to see just a lot of volatility. So hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, and uh, I'll make a video tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.